Hello family, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your August tarot scope, sweet baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up, family? First of all, thank you. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your support. Absolutely love you guys so, so very much. So big, big thank yous with that. And I also want to welcome in Leo season. It's about time. Here in my household, we start off with my daughter's birthday on the 10th and we end it on the 21st with mine. So this is a Leo loving home, okay? <laughs> now, with that being said, let's jump into the astrological stuff that's going on upstairs. So on 8-8, we have Lion's Gate. This is a beautiful time to open up your heart chakra to a beautiful meditation for the collective, to harness in some good energies, to move forward for the rest of the year. Now, on the 11th, this is also an important day because there's so much astrological activity going on. We have Mercury moving into the sign of Leo. So basically, communication is about to get direct and expressive. And we have Sagittarius going direct into the sign of Sagittarius. And Uranus is going a retrograde in the sign of Taurus. So lots of energy on that day. On the 15th, we have a full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius. And on the 18th, we have Mars moving into Virgo. And on the 21st, when's my birthday? Okay, y'all remember that. It's my birthday on the 21st. Uh, we have Venus moving into Virgo. So love's going to get a little bit practical. So I might run an errand for you, bring you your keys, buy you lunch. It's going to be very practical yet romantic. Now on the 23rd, it's Virgo season. And on the 30th, we have a new moon in Virgo. So happy birthday, Virgos also. Now, deep breath I want to share with you guys. I got these cards from a friend called the Shamanic Medicine Oracle Deck. Absolutely love this deck. So amazing. I've done a couple of reads on Instagram, just pulling cards for people. It's been so much fun. Maybe we need to do it over here too. Let me know. Leave it in the comments below. How about that? Now, deep breath, which will it be? One or two? If you chose card number one, you have bones for casting. This is divination. This is trusting your intuition hardcore this month, all right? Like, I mean, you got to trust it. All those signs, those synchronicities, those things that you're noticing, they're all coming together for a reason. Trust what you're feeling in order to move forward, all right? And if you chose card number two, I'm going to be waiting for you on my birthday because we're going to go out and we're going to celebrate. <laughs> Because you got wealth, you got offerings coming in. And this is significant to if you have a financial situation that's been a burden or something that just has not changed in a while, it's about to go down. It's about to change. It's about to be good. But also remember that you have to offer gratitude and share your abundance. So combining card number one, of trusting your intuition and knowing that a financial situation is going to be handled, I'm going to say this is going to be a hell of a month, an exciting month. I can't wait to hear your favorite parts of the month. Make sure you hit it, leave it in the comments. Make sure you hit that like and that share. Join me every Saturday or Sunday for weekly energies and updates. And guys, thank you so much. I pray that y'all have a beautiful, beautiful month and celebrate a Leo in your life. All right, be blessed. Hello, Pisces. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your August tarot scope, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Aren't you glad I waited one more day to do your read? Because yesterday I was a hot stinking mess with a sinus infection, okay? Look at what some sleep will do for you. If you listen to Sag or Capricorn, you could barely understand me, but I'm so clear for you, Pisces. Hi! <laughs> How you doing? So, with that being said, I got some new, new things coming in for you, new cards, new energies. We're going to jump into Leo season, totally, totally revived. However, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to join with you. I want to explain our lineup. We will go into our mind, body, and soul, wrapped up with a power animal, and then we'll hit the tarot. So, let me explain these new cards in front of you. These are known as the Karma Cards by Monte Farber. Very interesting cards. So at the top, you'll see the planet, the sign, and the house. Then you have spirit, mind, and physical, and it gives us little red actions. And then on the bottom, we'll have the blue solutions. So Mercury in Virgo in the 11th house. This does not mean that that is in your chart. However, this is a lesson that this month is portraying for us. So at a spiritual level, communicating 
the serving of others for humanity's sake. That's what's on your mind spiritually. Mentally analyze the details of your hopes and wishes. Physically, let your mind tell you how to do what you must do and do it for the future. It's almost like physically you might want to do something, but mentally you're like, I know, I know, I know, I know, I, know I ain't supposed to do it, but I want to. However, this is where you have to tap into your physical and mental ability. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these cards over and we're going to see the possible outcome for you in solving these dilemmas. So the awareness of methods for the healing power of freedom. This is what's going to free you spiritually. Mentally, many thoughts about or from the analyzing of associations. You're going to start looking at your circle of friends. You're going to start noticing like, oh, maybe I shouldn't hang out with this person. Maybe this isn't good for me. Maybe they are keeping me from what I need to do in my life. Physically, many words resulting from the perfectionism of the circle of friends. So I do believe some of y'all will be changing. Change is huge for you this month. Pisces, I'm a lot of breath. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay, I don't know why I'm a lot of breath. It's probably because I need to use my inhaler because I haven't, it's like warm in here for me. Anyways, with that, there's a lot of change coming in, but I think you already sense that change coming in and you've been kind of like changing certain aspects of the way that you're moving forward from here on out. So some people may not be comfortable with that, all right? Your power animal is the reef fish on this card, but it's also known as the clownfish. And the clownfish is a really interesting animal because for me, anything that has to deal with the water is super emotional, right? It's a super emotional, very intellectual um, animal that's gonna be coming through. And there's probably tons of animals down there that we don't even know about. Can you just imagine what's down there? Whew, kind of scurry. Anyway, Clownfish, um, this is about understanding your higher self. You're like on a spiritual mission right now, okay? But it's time to build your knowledge, the use of beauty for your camouflage. Like, in order to like, you know, just be the beautiful person in the back of the room for a minute so you can test the waters and see what's going on. The ability to hide from danger because they do not like confrontation. They actually avoid confrontation. And here's the kicker. Keep your private life private Pisces again keep your private life private okay understand that transmutation of poison you see how he's in the anemone over there I think I'm saying it all wrong but anyways and the little um, green thing in the background that's what protects them okay it has poison but the poison does not harm them because they have a mucus on their skin so this is the situation that I kind of get you have the ability to be around really toxic places and individuals and not get hurt because you can transmutate that energy that poison does not affect you because you know how to um, do the alchemic process all right however it's time to move to another level in your life it's time for you to change time to go all right so Pisces I got these really new cool cards from my friend Alea she's so beautiful and kind for my birthday you look it has a hummingbird on the side and this is I have to look at the way that they say they spelled it in here because I'm probably going to say it all wrong. Estanatulihi. Okay. So this is called a turquoise changing woman. And this is from the Earth Warriors Oracle deck. Absolutely, absolutely love this deck. And you see that beautiful sun in the background? It's just such beautiful energy coming through for you. And then there's joy in the changes that are needing to be found, right? Now, it says, I am the turquoise moon mother, and I come to you with a message of change. This may be change that you want or change that you fear, but either way, damn dirty, it's change, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, she was known as, she's the, the moon goddess of the Navajo, known as the changing woman, okay? Her blessings are for nourishment, renewal of energy, and new beginnings. And she brings hope, and she reminds us that life is constantly renewing. We can always begin again at the spiritual level. So turquoise changing woman is also known as the conqueror of monsters and the bringer of blessings, especially when we feel that we are under attack. And I do feel like you're under attack, Pisces. I don't know if you're embarking on something new and some, you know, you might be doing some new projects at work and people are like, you know what? I don't know what's wrong with you, but I don't like you. <laughs> you're like, I don't care. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> All right. So Pisces, you're going through a rough time. 
However, I love that it says this, grace does not do the work for us, but it does empower our efforts and assist us in fulfilling our purpose in ways the mind can rarely anticipate. We only have to ask in order to receive. So I kind of feel like in this situation, there's a lot of things changing for you. Like a lot is changing. It's almost like hot fire going through you, okay? Now, I'm saying all these wrong. Dwa Kul, right here, is the Dharma unfolding, okay? And he was a Tibetan Buddhist master. And the, he, this is a very interesting energy because when he appears, he reminds us the path is unfolding as it should. Take one step at a time. Take the time to go over, over what you have learned. This is about the beautiful lotus flower, one petal at a time. One step at a time, Pisces, you're going to get to what you want, but you already know that because you know you're on the right path and you know how to be in the, I'm going to say it, you know how to be in the shittiest of situations and create beauty. You transmutate the poison, all right? Now, just because I love Pisces, I'm just like, I do this for everyone. I got everyone an herb, right? However, let's look at, at the card number two. So we do feel like this energy is pertaining to contracts, partnerships, relationships, friendships. This kind of stuff, there are big changes coming, okay? And we're really working with strong energies here. Now, I have emotional issues may rise. Protect yourself from um, others' poisons because you are the change. Not you're changing, you are the change. You are the initiator of the change that is going to happen, all right? Now, your herb that I picked for you is garlic. And the reason why I picked that is because according to your health, garlic is actually good for you. I have a little bit of a health reading for you. Now, garlic is known as the stinking rose. Okay, I had to write that down because I thought it was hilarious. And in Spanish, it's referred to as ajo. So it was grown by Egyptian, Indians, Chinese, and y'all know my baby, baby Babylonians was doing it too. Now, the Roman soldiers used to eat this before they went into battle for strength. Garlic is known to ward off evil, just like the vampires and stuff. It also helps with evil eye. This is a masculine herb associated with Mars, Aries, the emperor energy. All right. Now, this is sacred to Hecti. Offered at the crossroads. Now, I've been f seeing this name a lot, Hectate or Hecate, and I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. Please don't be mad at me if I don't say it right. Um, and this, this energy, this goddess, has been popping up in a lot of my herbs and a lot of my readings that I'm, I'm very curious to just tap into her energy. Now, this is sacred to her, offered at the crossroads. She's the, the guardian of the moon, the water, the earth. I mean, she's in control, all right? Now... This is also can be added to a mojo bag to enhance your protection, okay? It was used in magic for exorcism, spell breaking, invoking passions. You know, if you used to hang some garlic by your bedroom, oh baby, they said if the, if the door is a knocking, don't come a rock, what if the, the bed is a rocking, don't come a knocking, because it brings in the lovers, baby. Now, this offers passion, protection, and strength. Now, in health, it's used as an antibiotic. It also can help in certain beliefs with cancer. And I'm not here to add too much stuff into the health realm because I am not a physician. But do research on that herb because it's very, very powerful. You can even plant this herb by your other herbs to keep the bugs away. All right? And y'all know I like to garden, so that's how I'll be doing. I'll be planting all kinds of stuff. So, let's bless our deck and jump into our read. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me know how y'all like these cards. I really think they're gorgeous. I love them. I love them so much. And I just want to learn them all. <laughs> like right now. I rolled a two for you. So two is going to be very significant for you this month. Just to let you know. Ooh, lots of fiery energy. Look at that sun and then strength reverse. So I'm going to say your health is going to be really, really good this month. Also be careful with people coming back from your past offering false starts. All right. And you might be thinking about a Leo, very strong Leo. You're thinking about having some of y'all might even have a Leo returning to you or you're thinking about contacting them. Okay. Or maybe you're just thinking about contacting me because I'm a Leo. <laughs> yeah, we got to keep some jokes up in here. We can't be all serious and stuff all the time. Let's see. Let's see what you got going on, big baby. Oh, and guess what? I ain't even going to lie to you. I rolled another two. What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 
you in this number two in the past five of pentacles Woo! leo energy with the ten of wands ten of pentacles reverse princess of pentacles reverse and the king of wands there's that leo baby coming through to save the day because we need some excitement okay i'm pulling from the bottom of the deck now this is a random story this could be for you this could be for your friend this could be for your cousin i don't know however this is the energy i got at the bottom Okay, I always pull the bottom just to give extra information. Let me make sure I'm supposed to stop here because I'm not feeling this card. No. Yeah, okay. So I have the Nine of Wands coming in and it's by the Devil reversed, Eight of Arrows reversed, Ace of Arrows upright, Princess of Wands upright, and the Ten of Arrows. <sighs> I'm going to say be very careful fighting for the things that you know you don't need to fight for anymore, especially releasing karmic issues or anything from the past that was keeping you dragged down. You're going to be releasing your stuff. You're going to be speaking your truth, talking what need, saying what needs to be said because of this eight of arrows reverse, which increases communication with the fire sign, which leads to the ten of arrows, which I feel like this is like actually a blessing in disguise because you clear the air and things can move forward. Now, it does not have to be a Leo per se, but it is somebody who is very fiery in their personality okay and they're going to show you the red flags that you might have been missing now jumping into your read I have the five of pentacles in the past I'm going to say this could really pertain to financial situations you were feeling a little bit tight you might have said a little bit too much and now you're kind of feeling like uh oh did I mess things up and I'm gonna tell you I know nobody likes the ten of wands I know they don't but I'm gonna tell you what I freaking love the Ten of Wands because it pertains to Leo energy and because it's Pazuzu. And the thing about Pazuzu is he was neither good nor bad. He's a winged demon. I know you're like, but that sounds bad. But he protected the unborn. He protected that. He protected the pregnant ladies, protected the babies from, La from Lamatsu, the devil. Okay? And so they used to find his... Um, his statue buried underneath their houses. People would have him on their on their necks. He was a form of protection. So I'm going to say whatever heavy situation you're going through, you are divinely protected. You saw all the red flags and whatever situation there was. You spoke your truth. You moved forward. Ha! And you're starting over. Okay? You have two tens in your read, so you possibly just got a new job or you're wanting to look for a new job. Either way, congratulations. You should get it. Okay, Ten of Wands, let's see, there's that fire sign, you are dealing with a fire sign. Fiery energy is good for you, I feel like they're telling you to invest your money, your time, and your energy in something new, okay? But what I'm kind of seeing is she has her back to the Princess of Pentacles. So for me, what this is saying is you're going to get some information, Pisces, you're going to get some inf mm. Mm. sorry information about my voice is like going crazy about a family situation or a financial situation that's going to be a little unsettling okay now I have like this father-daughter situation I also have like a family situation I want to pull on what kind of energy you're going to need this month with this remember we got a lot of change coming in Empathy. You always get this card. Speak less and listen more in this situation. This is also like you need to get some rest. Pisces, go sleep, go take a nap, okay? Relax, relate, release, like they say. However, but this is one where you're going to have to pay attention more to what people are doing than what they are saying, okay? Because the hidden influence is that Ten of Pentacles reverse. That Ten of Pentacles reverse is saying this is either a partnership or a relationship gone bad, a family situation that we're not complete in. And look, we're walking away from something that no longer serves us. The Five of Cups is saying it's a loss. Some of y'all invested into something or into someone that wasn't worth it okay and i do feel like the way that this earth sign is looking at the king of wands is they should have protected themselves in this situation so i'm going to tell you you if you're doing a project with somebody if you're doing anything you protect your work and you protect what you got to do and i feel like there's like strong aries energy around you okay Look, now the tree is upright. The same tree, but this is upright. <sighs> Sagittarius energy coming in. This is also a five. Got the number 55. There's going to be big changes for you coming in this month. You need to be very patient as you move through it. Do not, do not push it. Like, take your time. You have to be patient in it. You got this. Now, 
The advice is the princess of coins reversed. And you see how she's kind of looking at something and she's not paying attention to everything that happened in the past. You need to pay attention to everything that has already happened to this very moment. You need to learn to protect yourself, all right? Because I do feel like there's like an ending of something that you're totally running away from. Like you don't even want to face the, um, kind of like the clownfish doesn't want to have confrontation. I kind of feel like you don't want that confrontation. You don't want something to happen, but it needs to happen. There's the offer with the Ace of Cups. There's the lover. And there's the magician. And I'm saying, you ho ho, ho ho, Pisces. Pisces, 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 you have, I'm telling you, you either have some recognition coming in for you at work, because I have these two kings at the bottom with the sun, you have some recognition coming in at work, you have two people fighting over you, you need to make a decision, everyone's trying to offer you their cup, and the thing of the matter is, you need to go with what makes you happy, okay? And some of y'all might have, should have protected yourself from a young earth sign and unfortunately you didn't and so now the real offers coming in and you might have to let the other person go or the other position go right so here we have the king of wands right here and this is you being in your very creative form i'm telling you there's some kind of promotion there's something going on but i do see you going away from the earth sign they do not have to be a bad person it's just like you found something better okay Something that fits you better. It doesn't mean like they suck, but maybe they do. I don't know. I just don't like to be mean, okay? Whoa. Okay, that flew out. Somebody use it. At the bottom of the deck, I have the King of Cups, and the King of Cups flew out, and he's looking at the Six of Arrows reversed, okay? I do feel that if you're dealing with a Virgo, and I'm going to say a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, but strong Virgo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, it's going to be a really hard situation and kind of walking away from it because you're going to take an offer that's more likely coming from a fire sign or from a very creative individual because there's more excitement there and you know that it's there. And I, if you're not dealing with that, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming in to kind of help make the, ch the, the change swifter and softer with that Six of Arrows because that Six of Arrows is choppy, okay? Six of Arrows is rough. And it's because you need to stop trying to make something happen where it's not supposed to. Your recognition is coming. Your job is coming. Your love is coming. You do not have to try to make a relationship out of something that's not there. Okay? Whew. Go with the flow, baby. Because you are going to move to something beautiful, something great. But there is a lot of change. 55 is coming out. Your whole card was about change. You have these two kings coming in. You've had kings all over you. So I feel like when there's a lot of king energy, this is you moving into a higher position at work, moving into a relationship where you're no longer treated like a child, but you're treated like an equal. All right? That's the vibe that I'm getting for you this month. But there is a lot of change. Okay? Let's wrap up your read. With this, I have an extra card. I Just because I haven't used these cards in a long time, I have the Dancer of Frustration coming in for you. The Dancers of Frustration is just like, I feel like you have some people around you who aren't very supportive. So this is how to look for new ways to learn from challenges. This is opposition. Uh, when you feel like your paths were blocked, this is release. So the dancer from frustration, these are like obstacles all in front of you, okay? And this is like, stop. If, it's, if, if you keep getting pushed against, man, go a different way. That's all that they're trying to tell you is just go a different way, move to a different bead, do your thing, okay? Still celebrate. Now, you have Vision Quest coming in for you right here. Such a beautiful card. These cards were gifted to me. They're called the Shamanic Medicine. And they were gifted to me from my beautiful, beautiful friend, Vanessa J. Love, who does Reiki, if you're ever interested in getting that done. Now, this is about you becoming your authentic self, getting to know the truth of who you really are. And I think that's what that energy of the Princess of Pentacles reversed is kind of like blocking, Okay. Don't follow the crowd. You're entitled to your own preferences and speak up. The time of abandoning and ignoring and diminishing and misunderstanding the power of the old ways of wisdom is coming to an end for you. The knowledge is coming through you. A vision quest is on the way. You are stepping into your, to your knowing, okay? You'll return with healing in the direction of yourself, your loved ones, and for all of us. I kind of feel like some of y'all are on a spiritual path, 
and you're really like hiking up that trail and you're learning so many things about yourself and then there's some who are more on a career path right and you're going through that you're going up and down this career ladder and you're like whoa I'm really learning good things about myself and how far I can go and then there's some who are learning this in love and so applying this read wherever you're seeing those frustrations and those things that are hitting the wall that's where you retreat you stop trying to make something happen and you surrender and you tell the universe you know what I'm cool you help me help me move forward and you're going to go on this journey this month where you really tap into those energies and you're going to meet some very influential people even though that's not coming out of your read with all the kings that I saw trying to jump out the deck you're meeting and shaking hands with influential people all right do not trust that earth sign all right they're not they're not for you baby now, on a health level, you have the Maiden of Shields coming out. Unconditional love and guidance is really needed this month. But when, um, when the, what is she, the page? When the Page of Pentacles, because she's the Maiden, um, appears, this is overindulging and neck problems. So being aware of like certain things with your neck, all right? Now, your crystal is agate, okay? So this is about self-acceptance, uh, understanding what works for you. Um, it also works with um, balancing the body's emotions and issues that need to be resolved. Also good for healing the eyes and abdominal disease. This card indicates a need to quietly contemplate your purpose. And are you steadily working in the direction you need to? Or are you like fostering forward, like, you know, faltering? So with that being said, that is your read this month. Hopefully we connected in some form or fashion. If you're interested in a read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.